K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome back to the tour around the world featuring Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We got an awesome flight in store for you today. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Okay, this is our handy duty Commodore 64 map, which is where we started the, uh, the world tour back in 2018 and for those of you who have been following me on the world tour on the other simulators you know what we're going to be doing uh, on this one so we are here at Chicago Midway and we're going to be flying out here to Joliet it's not called Joliet Park anymore I forget exactly uh, what it's called Maybe Joliet Municipal I don't know uh, but what's interesting is that this here shows run one one runway try saying that 10 times fast uh but over the years uh it's changed uh where now there's a grass runway that crosses it much like what we saw with lansing which did have a grass runway that crossed it later on it was turned into a taxiway and a paved <coughs> runway was made for 18 and 36 so that's what's neat about this world tour just from a historical perspective not not just the simulator but being able to see how airports changed um, over the years some nav aids have been removed some airports have been removed for that matter and one of those airports uh, that was removed but thankfully we got it uh, brought back due to some um, custom content is this right here Merrill C Megs and that's the stop well it's not really a stop that we're going to be making on the way. We're doing a touch and go at Merrill C. Megs. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a fun flight. So let's go ahead and not waste any time and get right to it. Sun is going down just as it was on all the other simulators. Go ahead and get everything turned on here. Contact 
Taxiing hold short runway 22 left by a taxi weight golf cross runway tree 1 left Lima cross runway tree 1 center Lima cross runway tree 1 right Lima Hotel Charlie Cessna 1 tree Foxtrot. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see here. I do have some. Let's keep it around 2000 there. Looks like I got turned around here. There. Look out for the taxi lights out in the middle. Who put those there? <laughs> First putting these taxi lights out in the middle of the uh, taxi area should be fired. It's dangerous. Hey, if older if older versions of X Plane can do it correctly, there should be no reason why um, Microsoft Flight Simulator can't do it correctly. Just my opinion. I think those are real flights that are coming in. It's pretty cool to see. We shouldn't need a whole lot of runway to take off here. I'm going to see. Go and tune in the tower. Holy mackerel! Wait a minute. Where did we go? This is not the right runway. I got turned around. That's odd. I was on uh, Lima, wasn't I? What did I do? Go the wrong direction? I went the wrong direction. See what happens when those taxi lights are in the wrong spot? You wind up going the wrong direction. Midway Tower, Southwest 15434 miles east and bound RNAV X-ray runway, 22 left approach. Southwest 1543 Midway Tower. Cleared RNAV X-ray runway, 22 left approach. <laughs> Altimeter, 29er, decimal 9er, 2 wind, 229er two, two, at 5. Well, I guess we'll just go this way. Caution the Cessna that seems to be lost. Alright, I know it's in this direction over here. Caution the generic landing runway, 
Well, at least we got to see that cool plane coming down. There we go. This is where we need to be, is over here. See, that's what happens when you put taxi lights in the wrong spot. Whoa, what runway is that guy going on? That must be a real player there. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> uh... I'm not sure where he's landing. All right, here we go. Southwest one five four three contact ground. Southwest one five four three clear to land runway two to right. Follow the generic on final. Oh come on! I'm here. There we go. Okay. Tower Cessna 1 Tree Foxtrot ready for east departure at runway 22 left. Cessna 1 Tree Foxtrot cleared for takeoff runway 22 left east departure approved. Clear to land runway 22 right southwest 154 tree. Cleared for takeoff runway 22 left Cessna 1 Tree Foxtrot. Okay. Midway Tower Southwest 153 six, six miles northeast inbound RNAV X3 runway 22 two left approach. Southwest 153 six, Midway Tower. Clear RNAV X3 runway 22 two left approach. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 or 2 wind 229er two, two, at 5. See if we can get our uh, autopilot going here. Midway Tower Southwest One Five Three Six is going missed. Southwest One Five Three Six contact Chicago approach on O N E Two Six Decimal Zero Five. There it goes. Okay. Heading mode doesn't seem to be Clear working here. That's all right. We got. We're doing pretty good, just manual. This doesn't look too bad. 
for night. Kind of wish these were a little brighter, though. Okay, let's go to the airport list here. Tune in to Meg's Field. Tune in the tower. And. Tower Cessna 1 Tree Fox Trot 5 miles west touch and go. Cessna 1 Tree Fox Trot Tower. Make left base runway 18. Altimeter 29er decimal 9er to wind 229er two, two, at 5. That's perfect. That's the one that we want. Send the one tree fox trot clear touch and go left traffic runway at one eight. Wind two two nine er at five. Clear for touch and go runway one eight. Send the one tree fox trot. Send a little high there. Right around there. Okay, I'm going to start dropping some flaps here. a bit high here. Okay, that's our last bit of flaps.
Isn't this stunning looking? I mean, I wish I saw a little bit more lights on the buildings. But, you know, with the lights on the street, though, that looks pretty cool. I think we need a slower approach, just a little bit. Ooh, we got some floating lights over here. <laughs> All right, come on. Get out of the way there, car, truck. All right, full throttle. Bring our flaps up. Touch and go a success. Seem to be having problems with the um, autopilot. It was working to start off with. They've had um, a couple of updates. I think it broke the autopilot. Just uh, manually fly our way to Joliet. Just need to find out what the. Vor is for it. Should have tuned that in to start off with. 112.3. Let's see, that's comm radio. We need to turn a little bit this way. Oh, oh there we go. Whoa! <laughs> 
Watch out for the uh, jumbo jet there. I'm trying to adjust my um, pitch trim here. I don't remember it being that far up. Come on. Okay, here is information on our route. That doesn't seem to do anything. I'm just curious if we can get this locked in on nav mode or not. doesn't want to yeah it doesn't want to go over there that's disappointing you know I've had more trouble with autopilot on this simulator than any of the others Got about, what, 12 minutes to get there? Yeah, about 21 miles. I'm a little bit more higher in altitude than what I wanted to go. I think that's midway. No, that's not midway. Midway would be behind us. It just seems like midway over there, doesn't it? I don't think we're close enough to Chicago Hair.
close to 6,000 feet. We need to get down a little lower there. Oh, I did the touch and go. Oh, hold on. Tower Cessna 1 Tree Foxtrot cancel landing intention. Cessna 1 Tree Foxtrot, your cancellation is received. Apparently, even though I did the touch and go and took off, I still had to cancel that in order to. Switch uh, frequencies. Foxtrot is type Cessna Skyhawk, five miles southeast of Lima Lima two two five thousand nine hundred feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Cessna one three Foxtrot Chicago approach. Squawk three two two six. Squawk three two two six Cessna one three Foxtrot. Cessna 13 Foxtrot radar contact 4 miles east of 2 India Sierra 05900 feet. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Maintain on navigation. Cleared through the Bravo airspace Cessna 13 Foxtrot. About 11 miles away. Six minutes out. I'm going to tune in to Joliet. Maybe. <laughs> I think that might be the airport right there where the beacon is at. Okay, runway 1331 I believe is the paved runway. Let's do 31. Tray 1. 
seven miles. Okay, I'm gonna bring down one of the flaps here. Let's see if we have any type of approach any information for Joliet. Nope. I don't have any type of maps or anything for Joliet, unfortunately. We're gonna have to gonna have to visually make our way in. see it here on the Garmin it's coming up that's I think that's definitely it all right gonna drop another thing of flaps here definitely got to get lower in altitude So the silly, the silly, yeah, the silly Joliet, the city of Joliet is right up ahead. One mile away from it? Is it over here? Should be able to see it. As high up as we are, we should be able to see it. This might be it right here. That's about one mile. We're less than a mile. Okay, it's not that beacon. Wait a minute, are we flying over it? Hold on here. We passed it. We're circling it. <laughs> I think we're I think we're over it. I think we're flying right over it. What's that there? I mean that's not it. It's not We have got to be flying over it. I don't remember seeing it, do you? Oh, there it is. I see one runway down there. Okay. Boy, that was not easy to see.
All right, let's turn around here and see if we can get it this time. I think I had the same problem with one of the other one of the other simulators too where I had a hard time seeing it. I wonder if it was FSX. It's been a while. Uh, the FSX one that I did was like in 2018. All right, I got the next thing of flaps down. I should be the last one. Ooh, there's a runway. I think that's it. I don't think it's the right run, right? <laughs> I think that might be the grass runway. No, that might be right. That might be right. Is it me, or are there skyscrapers over here? I don't think that's correct. Yeah, this is runway 31, all right. Come on. Okay. Kilo Juliet Oscar Tango traffic Cessna one tree Foxtrot is clear of the runway. I don't think there are supposed to be apartment buildings there. <laughs> I think that's what that is. All right, we'll go ahead and park over here. Someone stayed away. Oh, he turned off. It's like, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> All right, we'll just uh, park it right here. Sounds good. I'm going to turn that on. But I'm going to leave the lights on, though, because otherwise it looks really dark if I don't. Anyways, hey, well, we did it. Uh, had a little bit of uh, confusion getting out of uh, Midway, but we made it out of there. Uh, we did our successful touch and go at Meg's. Had some issues with the autopilot. <laughs> but we made it over here to Joliet. Had to circle around the airport a little bit. It was a little hard, hard to see. Uh, but anyhow, hey, uh, any safe landing is a good landing. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this flight, uh, click that like button, share the video, leave some comments. It helps out with that whole algorithm thing. And if you're new here, hey, why not subscribe? Be a part of our killer community and ring that notification bell so you get notified of future flight simulation content because that gets uploaded almost all the time. And I also do some streaming over on Twitch. So I hope to see you over there. Give me a follow. And Instagram. If you like to see some stuff behind the scenes of what I'm working on. I take pictures and photos. That's what I do there. And Twitter. That is our official source for killer news and announcements. And retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. It's our, it's our way of being able to communicate with your folks. And Snapchat. Hey, well, you know, that's just our way of just having some fun. So if you happen to have a Snapchat account, uh, more than welcome to follow me. And then Patreon, 
for those of you who uh, like what you see and you like to be able to support the channel um, there is patreon and you uh, get some things in return as well thanks so much for watching appreciate it and i will see you on the next episode the next exciting leg of our journey have a killer awesome day